Hello everyone, welcome to William and the Magic Box. Today on our show, we're going to have Mark. Mark is from London in the UK. So let's see what Mark has to say. Enjoy the interview. Hello, Mark. Hello. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Very well. Thanks so much for taking the time today for the interview. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for uh, interviewing me. So tell me, how's your day been so far? Uh, it's, it's been a lazy day, um, uh, <laughs> Sunday, because I was in the gym last night. So right. my body's aching a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So tell me where you're from, Mark. I'm uh, from East London, um, England. Oh, so you live in London as well? Yeah. Oh, wow. I used to live in East London. When I arrived in London, I used to live there for four years in East London, uh, near West Ferry. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, popular. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I know you are an actor, a director, a writer. So tell me a little bit about your career. Um, well, it, it all started when I was a little kid, um, about 13. Um, a friend of the family. Um, they, they worked in, in the theatre as a, a technical uh, theatre person. Um, so they invited me along. So I learned all the technology stuff on the theatre and I just loved it. Then I moved on to film and from there, boom. Um, I've only just really started writing since uh, 2017. Um, before I'd write a little bit of a page and and then I'd start again and give up. Um, but then someone told me, you've got to keep going uh, because when you first start, it's going to be rubbish. Um, so I kept going and going. And when I finished the script, I read read it back. It, it wasn't great, but then I redid it and then did it again until it was perfect. <laughs> I see. And so acting for you, you've been doing full-time acting right now? Um, at the moment, I, I have been, yes. Amazing. And um, what do you like the most about acting? What's the best joy of it? Um, well, it's just being with uh, other people, just having fun. And um, in reality, um, us actors never grow up. So it's a perfect uh, job for us because you get to play all the time. Um, <laughs> and also growing up, I, I never really knew what career I wanted. You know, I'd, I'd say, I want to do this job. And then I say, well, maybe this job. So being an actor is perfect because one day you might be a surgeon. Next day you're a detective. And <laughs> <laughs> It's so part of the journey of exploring different uh, characters. Yeah. Okay, Mark, are you ready to go on a beautiful journey through your memories in life and share your point of views? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amazing. Welcome to William and the Magic Box. So, this is my best friend. Okay, flow from the phone questions. I'm just going to play a song now just for us to relax a bit before the first question, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. Okay, Mark, before we start the game, during the journey, if there's a question that you don't want to talk about for some reason, you don't want to answer, always can change, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Right. First question for you is, who is your biggest hero? Um, well, biggest hero would be my dad. Um, because um, he, he um, was always pushing me to to become better um but then if it comes to my career wise then Tarantino and Robert De Niro <laughs> so tell me why your dad has been always um your biggest hero oh he's um always been there for me um we recently lost him but he, mm -hmm. until um then he's always been there for me and always giving me solid advice um, and yeah <laughs> he's he always supported you uh, regarding your career yeah with with everything and if I had stupid ideas he would tell me straight <laughs> <laughs> oh. and you have siblings as well 
Pardon? Do you have siblings as well? Uh, no, I'm I'm the only one. The only child? Yeah. <laughs> wow, amazing. Next question, let's do it. Next question for you is, if you could some, do something illegal without getting caught, what would you do? <laughs> um, uh, I would say probably probably hack into the bank <laughs> a little, <bit laughs> little worm in there to take a, a penny out for every transaction <laughs> not that i would do it but if i could get away with it <laughs> of course of course i think all of us we have you know like you think about if you know if you imagine imagine rub like a bank with a lot of money imagine how amazing mm. and after you can do you can help people around the world do anything that you like yeah. it yep <laughs> But it's not good. It's not a good action for sure. No. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Let's do it. For the next question, tell me what you like the most about living in London. What's the best part of it? And also, what's uh, the most challenging part? Um, the, the best part, especially with Hackney, where I'm at, is um, it's multicultural. Uh, Everyone gets along with everyone and we get to learn about so many different cultures and it's amazing. Um, and I wouldn't want to change that for the world because it's, it's just a beautiful thing. Um, the, the most challenging part, I, I guess, would be um, everyone seems to be in a rush. They've got no time to stop and, and talk. So when I'm out in public and on trains, buses, I always manage to talk to someone and make a friend. Um, but a, a lot of the time, people just look at you like, why are you talking to me? Are you are you planning to fraud me or something? Because in London, a lot of people are really cynical. Like they assume that because you're talking to them, you, you want something from them. When it, it's not always the case, it's, it's nice to be sociable. <laughs> absolutely absolutely i think big cities sometimes people they don't get used to people to just come and talk to you about anything about kind of being friendly yeah i see I understand next question for you is what three things do you want to be remembered for um, i'd like to be remembered for uh making great movies um if if i become big time in film and that I'd, I'd love to uh, set up charities and to help people um, and just pretty much be remembered for a, a, a great fun loving guy <laughs> I see and uh, tell me something um, do you think that uh, uh, nowadays with the film industry you know after the COVID do you think that uh, um, things are back to normal again, or still is a bit difficult in the acting world? Some production companies are going back to the way it was, uh, but others are still following strict guidelines, uh, mm -hmm. which is understandable because if your lead actor, say, catches COVID, that's two to three weeks that they're not able to perform and that's a lot of money down the toilet so yeah yeah it's a different word i think i never thought that one day you know does a business like you know um you do be affected the way it was you know some there you couldn't go to to the theater you couldn't you know see new movies coming uh, coming along so it was a tough time for sure yeah yeah but for another question Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Next one. Hey, Mark from London. Next question is, where do you see yourself in five years' time? In five years' time, I'm, I see myself uh, making the uh, big budget movies uh, alongside some A-list directors. Um, and hopefully I'll be one of them A-listers. Amazing. And uh, so far, um, when you think about acting, um, what's the, the biggest uh, challenging of it, in your opinion? Um, 
with acting it the most challenging is um the unsociable hours when you are acting um because a lot of people just see the glamour of the acting the, the after parties etc but then you've got really early mornings and late finishes um and a lot of rehearsal and that, that that's a real challenging part and, and also um Rejection is is a big part. Most actors will, will feel the same way um, when you go for an audition and they're like, sorry, we, you're not what we're looking for. Um, but then we have to remind ourselves that it, it's not your acting skills. It's they've got in their mind a particular character. And if you're not matching that character, that that's when they um, can't take you on board. But it has nothing against your acting i see and how for you what's the how do you find ways of you know of some castings to do some fine castings in london is through social media is through websites how does it work well i, I find some via um, mandy.com um, and also through word of mouth um, i have a few friends of filmmakers um, and also um, via my agent, um, Movie Lux. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. Ready for another one? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Next question. Next question is, what three things are you most grateful for? Um, most things, three things is um, grateful for my, um, I'm grateful for my son. Um, my wife and um, pretty much family. Family's a real big thing for me. Oh, and the, uh, your, your your family always supported you in your career as well? Yeah, yeah, uh, always. And also another thing that I'm grateful is I've not got many yet, but, but fans, because without your fans, you, you're nothing really. <laughs> Of course, I think people supporting us. We cannot get anywhere with, you know, some support and people there cheering up for us and, you know, somehow as well, helping us to get to the, the place where we want to be one day because you never can get anywhere alone. There's always need someone to be, you know, somehow helping us well on the way. Yeah. That's what I believe. Next question, let's do it. Hey Mark, next question is, what is your favorite kitchen smell? Um, smell, um, I guess um, I've not been able to eat it at the moment because I'm, I've been training, but it has to be bread. The smell of uh, freshly cooked bread is just amazing. <laughs> Do you like cooking? Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm pretty good at it. That's why I've got a bit of a belly. Well, I've <laughs> had to work hard at the gym to get rid of. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me something that uh, you cook that your wife, your son, they, they love eating. Um, well, my wife really likes it's chicken. I do. Um, so I, I cook the chicken, but I put like breadcrumbs on it, and then little potato wedges and she loves this dip that I make it's, it's pretty basic the dip but she really loves it <laughs> amazing amazing Mark I have three questions left for you let's do it next question is who would you swap lives with for a day if you could um, Steven Spielberg <laughs> Oh my God, that's a big one. Tell me why. Um, well, he's, he's a legend when it comes to filmmaking. And just to be able to walk in his shoes for a day and learning such a amazing techniques and, and having the chance to be there at grand zero of great movies would be just awesome. <laughs> Oh my God, wow. Tell me one of your favorite Steven Spielberg movie. Um, that's hard, um, but I really love Jaws. I, I like all of these films, but my, my biggest one is Jaws. 
Wow. Okay. Two questions left for you. Let's do it. Before the next question, tell me one moment in your career that you go like, you know what? I'll never forget uh, this moment. Something that happened that's always going to have a special place in your heart. Um, when, when filming, it's um, pretty much friends I've made. Um, so when, when I film, um, we, we become like a family. So um, there's one that we did... Um, what was it called? I forgot the name, Toy Box Killers. Um, so when we made that, become really close friends with everyone. And um, the main actress, she's now like a little sister to me. Uh, so that's, that's the really great thing, what I love about. Okay. Next question is, what's your parents they did that comforts you the most? Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, uh, I guess their support, really. Yeah. yeah. It's hard to think because they've, they've done so many things that for me. That's why I was like, I'm, I'm not sure. It's trying to work through all the things, but but their support is is great. Absolutely. Having the support of our family, you know, regarding <clears throat> life, career, anything that we do, I think it's um, it's a big plus. Yeah. That's what it big. Yeah. Ready for the last question? <laughs> Let's do it. Last question. Before the last question, people watch the interview right now. They would like to start a career in acting. What would be your best piece of advice? Um my best uh, piece of advice would be get a showreel uh, if, if you have to go out and with your friends and a camera and just film scenes write little scenes for yourself and just go out there and do it and once you've got the showreel you can then look for an agent and uh, and, and go from there but but that that showreel is is really needed um and also to give you a bit of experience in front of the camera. All right. Last question for you is, if you could have a cup of tea or a coffee with a fictional character, who that would be? Um, Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me why. He's, he's just awesome. And I'd, I'd love to be able to play as Sherlock Holmes one day. Uh, but it's just the... How, how intelligent he is, but then it's it's just oh, it's so hard to explain. It's, it's his mannerisms. It's just so so awesome. That he seems to be a bit of a a hole, but it, it's uh, he's always got focus and a, a plan with it. <laughs> I see. All right. So then, yet, let's play now the word association game, okay? I'm going to give away some words. Just one word that comes to your mind. Quick thinking, okay? Yeah. So, I hope you are enjoying the interview. Before we do the word association game, don't forget to give a like. Don't forget to share this video. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Just click on the button right there. Thank you so much and enjoy the word association game. Yeah. One word for love. Family. One word for money. Um, happiness. <laughs> <laughs> How about uh, family? One word. Um, uh, the world. <laughs> Life. Life. Um, fun. Sex. Uh, um, that's fun too. <laughs> <laughs> Politics. Um, boring. But necessary. That's two words I've said. Boring. Okay. <laughs> Religion. Um, necessary. Fear. Uh, caution. Friendship. Um, com um, <laughs> my brain stopped working. <laughs> um, <laughs> 
closeness. Desire. Uh, my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Regret. Um, life. <laughs> Friendship. Um, brotherhood. Success. One day. <laughs> <laughs> Wish. Um, uh, happiness. And one word for happiness. Um, family. <laughs> one word for London. Um, Gray. And the last one, I'll, um, acting, one word. Uh, passion. Amazing. Let's pretend I'm going to meet your wife for a coffee, yeah? And I'm going to ask her, what is the most beautiful thing about Mark? And what's something that he still needs to work on? What should say? She'd probably say I'm very caring. Um, and then she'd probably say I need to work on my uh, jokes because I, I tell terrible dad jokes. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Okay, hey, let's play now, Mark, in the magic box, and you can ask me a question. Okay, Mark, you can ask me a question now. Okay, um, what, what's your happiest memory? Right, good point. Um, okay, the first thing that came to my mind, one of the, my happiest memory in my life, it was my first day at school. I was... Uh, I remember growing up, uh, I had I have some cousins, they are older than me. And every year when they were going to the to this to school, I was so um I was just so badly to go, but I couldn't because I was under age and I couldn't start. So I remember the very first day when I went to school, I remember clearly my first teacher. I remember the first day I remember holding hands with my colleagues to go to the class. So I have this memory in my life. Um yeah, it was one of the happiest days for sure. Awesome. <laughs> did you enjoy the interview, Mark? Yeah, I did. It was great. Thank you. Thanks so much for taking the time for the interview and for being so kind. Okay? Yeah, you're welcome. But before you go, if you can share a positive message or something that you live by. Um, never, never give up. Always keep pushing. Um, no matter how many times you, you fall, always get up and keep going amazing okay thanks so much for the interview and you keep in touch okay it was a pleasure it's a pleasure to thank you thanks so much bye. Bye. bye so did you like the show don't forget to give a like share it and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you'd like to be part of the show as well first subscribe to our channel and after that just go to our website www.williamandthemagicbox.com and send us a request saying why would you like to be part of the show and I see you there. Bye-bye, see you next time.